Thank you so much for having me. I'm, yeah, like she said, I'm 700 away from 40K and I never in my life thought I would be here. But um, just so some of you guys kind of know where I come from, I was a full-time nurse. I was not looking for Thrive when I found Thrive. I actually, um, I had two preemie babies and my mental health needed me to be working and needed to be outside of the house. I knew I needed to be around people. I needed interaction um, because I was a better mom not with my kids all day. That's just me. Um, and I praise everyone that can be with their kids all day, but I knew I was better outside of the home. And so I had went back to work and I had a full-time job at the University of Notre Dame. I was a nurse there and I truly felt like I had the dream job. Um, I was working with D1 athletes. I was working with the best of the best. My kids, um, college was paid for wherever they wanted to go in the U.S. Um, I was, I had the dream job and my husband farmed. So I also carried the insurance. And so I was not looking for this. As we all know, COVID happened. And so this summer we were planning on building our dream home. And I, just like most of you, whenever you're going to do something different, right? You go to Pinterest, you go to Instagram and you follow everybody that has similar stuff. So I went to Instagram and I followed all these people that were building modern farmhouse. Cause I was like, Oh, that's what I want. And so I had followed all these people and this mom started talking about how much energy she had and how good she felt. And so I was like, oh, okay, I'll just follow her a little longer. And so after a week I messaged her and I was like, okay, whatever you have, like sign me up. I want to try that. Um, and I look back and she truly showed the value of the product. I didn't know there were discounts. I didn't know their credits could be given. I didn't know we had any kind of, um, like promos. We, I found her actually on Instagram, not on it. Yeah. Instagram on stories. I was like watching stories throughout the night. Like we all probably do laying in bed and you're going through people's stories. And so I randomly messaged this girl, told her I wanted to do it. Um, signed up. I did black label. Cause that's what she had. I didn't know about any of the labels, but she did black label. So I did it. And my husband, and I truly felt like we had tried every product. Um, because we had, and this one, for some reason, I was just like, yeah, she sold me. Her stories sold me. And so I bought this experience. My husband was like, you just, you just do it. Because truth be told, we were not very consistent with things. <laughs> we started things and we stopped and we move along our day. Um, and so I started it. I was a day one thriver. My husband was not. Within about a week, he decided he'd try it. And then we were just kind of sharing it with our friends and family. And so I messaged that same girl and I was like, Hey, I want to promote. And she didn't respond. Um, she did eventually, but when I was ready to sign up, she didn't respond to me. And so me, I joked at leadership. I was like, well, I didn't Google good enough, but I Googled and I found somebody that promoted and I signed up under that person. I messaged them on Facebook and I was like, Hey, I want to sell this stuff. I like it. I don't know what promoting means, but I want to do it. Um, and I, I did not do this for the money. I did it because I felt good. I felt good. I had printed off all the ingredients and brought them to our sports med docs, brought them to everybody. And I was like, is this good? And they were like, yeah, it's vitamins, you know, go for it. Um, and I felt good. And so here I am a promoter under a girl that is not even a promoter with a company anymore. Um, and I hit VIP 800, hit VIP 1600. And hit 4K my first month. And I didn't even know what that meant. Like, I didn't even know what 4K meant. But here I am. My paycheck was cool. I got a pair of Maui gems. So if anybody watches my story, I've already broke those. And I refused to pay money for another pair. But anyway, I had them. I loved it. And I told my husband, I remember being like, I'm going to get a car too. And he was like, Emily, <laughs> you're not getting a car. Like, we're doing this just for fun. You get your product free. This is great. And so I was like, okay, well, by December, I just want to have our car payments paid for. Like, right? Anybody that can take a payment of your anything away, sign me up. And so I gave myself till December, and my husband was convinced that was never going to happen. Um, and then we hit our car in 65 days. And to be honest, I just couldn't stop talking about it. I loved the product. I didn't know what it meant to build a team. I didn't know what the heck I was doing, but I couldn't stop talking about it. And that's why we grew so fast. I made posts. I used my stories. Why? Because I signed up because I found someone on their stories. So you better believe that 
someone's watching them because I was, um, and strangers are. So I use my story and I kept building and I kept building. So here I am, I'm a full-time nurse, right? I built a 12K um, working full-time. And just like most families, um, <laughs> just like most families, you had to make a decision. When COVID happened, as a family, you had to make a decision of how you're going to live your life during COVID. You could live it this way or you could live it this way, right? And there's no wrong way. There's no right or wrong way to it. But my husband and I chose to live a life where we did choose to travel if we wanted to. We felt like we were being safe. We were doing all the things I had to do. If I was required to wear a mask, I wore my mask at work. Obviously, I'm a nurse. Um, I was tested excessively at the university to protect the community. But I also made a decision to go to leadership. And when I made that decision, it was during Christmas break and it changed my life. I would go back tomorrow and get on a plane to leadership if I could. Um, and I came back to the university and I was given two choices. I was given an option that I could stay at the university, right? I had my dream job. I was never going to leave the university. This side gig was fun and it was great money like to have extra, but that I had everything I ever could have dreamed of at the university. As a nurse, you want the hours, you want the life that I was living. Um, and that's straight up honest with you. My kids' tuition, my insurance, I was getting paid incredible money. But with that, if I chose to stay, I would not be traveling. Um, I would not be seen with the mask because pictures were posted and I didn't have a mask on. And by not traveling, that also meant that if I wanted to see my parents that lived in Indy, um, which is about three hours from me that I would be signing that I would not do that. They would come visit me. Um, regulations, rules at the university just changed. And so I had two choices. I could leave or I could stay. And it was that moment that I realized that I actually had a choice, that I didn't have to stay. Six months ago, I would have stayed. Six months ago, I would have signed that paper because that was my option. I needed that for my mental health. That's my income. Like that was my kid's tuition. Um, that was my insurance. There was no plan B. There was no other option. I would have signed that paper and changed what my husband and I morally, what we made the choice to do. I would have changed it. But because of Lavelle, I had a choice. Um, and I think it was that moment that I realized that this can be as big as you want it, um, that I knew I could walk away. Uh, let me silence my kid's monitor. Uh, sorry. Um, and so when I made the choice to walk away, it wasn't easy. <laughs> and um, a lot of the leaders I turned to, cause I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't have insurance. Like this is my insurance and this is this. And it took my husband kind of sitting me down and being like, let's look at what you're bringing in here. You can bring in this with Lavelle, you're bringing in this with nursing, but where can this go? And I put it in my mind that day that I'm going for 40K, but what am I really going for? I'm going for 200K. Um, 40K is a stamping stone, but where's my goal? And I can be as big as I want it to be. And so I wake up every day and, you know, I went to school to be a nurse. I went to school because I wanted to help people. I wanted to save people's lives. I wanted to be that person they could go to, but I'm still doing that. I'm doing that every single day. I wake up and I'm changing lives. I get to do that. I get to see how many I change. And there's, there's no end. There is no end in sight. And so when I made that choice to walk away from the university, and I'm never going to tell anyone to do that. Like no one has to do that. But what you do have to know is that you may be put in situations in your life that you don't know are going to happen. Because six months ago, never in my wildest dreams did I think I would have to make a choice, um, a choice of staying and going, but a choice that I truly did have. I could make that choice and I could make that choice confidently knowing I can pay for private insurance and I can pay and put money back for my kid's school and I can pay my bills. My car payment, we're double auto bonus family. Like I have that choice. And until you realize what you have in your hands, it's really hard. It's, it's really hard to see that future. 
you have to believe in every single thing you do. You have to wake up in the morning and know, like, I am changing lives. I am, I get to make that choice. And this month we've been 12 K for, I've only been in this business since July. So I don't know. It's March. I, I'm not good at math. It's been a long day. Um, not very long, right? Eight months. And so when I chose to walk away, this no longer became a hobby for me. This was, you're doing this, like you're 200 K do it. And what I changed in my business this month that I haven't done in the past is I no longer looked at where am I going to be? What am I going to do? So instead of waking up and being like, okay, I got to be 40K. I got to be 40K. I woke up and I said, who needs to hit 4K this month? Who is going to hit 12K? Because if I'm not changing people on my team's lives and I'm only here for myself, that, that doesn't bring me any joy, right? Like that's not helping me. Um, and you know, I left and I went to the university for that community. And I'm here to tell you that if you haven't learned yet that your community here is way bigger than what anyone else can give you, I'm going to tell you it again, because I don't have that direct upline that I know you all have because you're on this Zoom. My direct upline isn't even here. And the person I fell against hasn't even realized that I'm 40K yet. I'm being perfectly honest with you. She hasn't realized I'm $600 away from 40K. 650. Um, she doesn't know, but you know what? That doesn't matter. What matters is that you have a community. You have a family because you're on this zoom and I know don't rush me. Don't rush me. Uh, <laughs> my team works at night too. I'm here to tell you, if you, you know, when your team works, mine show up at like seven 30 every night from seven 30 to 10, our orders blow up. But in front of me, I'm in my room. This is my office because that's that's how I re we roll around here. And I what was, I did at the beginning of the month. I was totally going to ask you to show us your wall. Do you want me to turn it around? If you can. Yeah. Because okay. I do the same thing you're about to show them. And I love it. I love it so much. Okay. So, oh God, I'm going to blind you all. So at the beginning of the month, everyone here, don't look at my little thing, has a sticky note. Okay. Now, how do I turn back around? Okay, so they have a sticky note. And on this sticky note, at the beginning of the month, I'm like, what is your goal? Where are you gonna be at the end of this month? Where do you wanna be? And everyone better shout it out. They better tell me where they wanna be. And then they go on the sticky note. If they are new, they go on a sticky note. So I can watch them on VIP. And the only thing I watch is the February countdown of where you're supposed to be because it's the shortest month. It's the shortest month. So if I'm on track on the 10th of February, I'm over track. I'm, I'm way ahead of the game. And I know that's why we're 40K on the 25th because I'm not looking at where I'm at in March. I'm looking at February. So look ahead, find your smallest month. Obviously it's February. And so every single day I wake up and I update the board. I can lay in my bed and I'm looking at this board and I'm like, oh my gosh, she is here. She is here. We have two girls that are in college that hit 4K. We have six that have qualified for a bonus. Um, one 12K, the rest are four. And honestly, I pour every minute of my day into that team. Because if they want to Zoom and it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm here. If it's 10 o'clock at night because their kids have fall finally fallen asleep, you hear mine banging on the door probably, I'm here. Like, And the other night, actually, I told my team, I was like, okay, it's nine o'clock. I'm trying to be better. Nine o'clock. I'm going to turn my phone off. And so I did. And I kid you not between nine and 11, our team did $2,000 in sales. And I was like, never again. My bedtime is not meant to be at nine o'clock. I'm so sorry. Never again. And they did not message me. But the next morning they were like, Hey, Em, I got an order. I got, an and they just blew it up. But this, our team knows like we're a family. They can call me if they need a shoulder to cry on. And a month ago, it wasn't really like that with our team. I had to change that atmosphere because they needed that just as much as I needed them. Because if you remember, I didn't come into this for the money. I came into this for the community. And if I'm not building my own community, like why would they want to stay? And so I had to step back and realize what is the big picture? I'm 40K tonight, but really I'm 200K. Because that's where I'm looking. That's where I'm, that's where my focus is right now. My vision board has 200K. We skipped 40, we, we skipped 80. 
it's 200 K in family vacation. And it hasn't, that's the, that's all my board is because then I got sidetracked and it didn't get finished, but that's it. 200 K in family vacation, Disney. And right now that's all that matters, right? Like, <laughs> so by the end of the month, we'll finish that. But truly I focused on each one of them. And if they're running, you better put your butt in gear and run with whoever is running. Because we have some that are like, I went 4K and then they don't do anything. Girl, okay, we've already passed you by. Like we're past you. And these girls that are in college, they were like me. They knew nothing. They knew nothing. They're in college. And you know what? They're my girls that $400 order went in at three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, who in the heck is that? Oh, it's the college kids. I don't know if they were drunk or not, but they just put an order in for a promoter pack. And you know what? They messaged me at seven o'clock this morning. Um, and I always joke that our team has to have the biggest sales for thirst because our college kids buy so much thirst for hydration. It's an ongoing joke. But you know what? Those girls can sell the heck out of thirst. Um, but you find that niche of what you love. And for me, our team is young. We have some older ones, but our college group is so big right now and they are on fire and they know they don't know what they're doing, but you know what? They're the first ones that they're like, okay, okay. I got somebody new. Can we get on a three-way? Cause I don't know you bet. And those people that are on the three-way that second, you know, Ashton's the one that hit um, 4k in 15 days and she's already at 7,000 for the month. Like, I, every day she shocks me, but she shows up every single day. And she's like, what do I need to do today? What do I need to do today? And everyone won't be that way. Some of them need me to be that push, but that's okay. Some of them, I need to be like, Hey, you're 200 behind today. Let's get 400. And a lot of them also will screenshot because they don't know what to do. So I'm like, screenshot me your conversation. And we walk through, okay. Go ahead. This is say this back. How do you know them? Because if they don't, if I'm not teaching them how to talk to people, I didn't know. I mean, I figured out my own and I'm, I can come out of my shell pretty easy, but a lot of them don't. And so we screenshot a lot. I like conversations. And the first thing I say is what's their goal? And what do you know about them? <laughs> do you know these people? Like, how do you know them? Um, and they just connect. So honestly, the only thing I've done different this month is change the focus on myself and made my focus on my team. Because on this board, nowhere does it show what my volume is for the day. The only volume, I'm, I say it's a board, it's literally my wall. The only thing on the wall is everyone else's volume and everyone else's VIP status. We had another girl hit VIP last night that's been in five days, VIP 1600. Um, and she's on the way to 4K. But honestly, they're just on fire and they just keep going and we're running with them. And it's it's so fun. We have six, um, six that have hit. We had one 12K and the five 4Ks um, that have hit the bonus so far. Um, and I know there'll be a lot more. So and that's just this month, right? Because that's when your shift really kind of happened. Yes. Was this month. That's four awesome. this month. Andrew hit okay. 12K and another 4K last month. So we had four this month. That's awesome. So I love that. We're just, I mean, we're just going. Um, our team is fun. Like we have a team Zoom tonight at nine. Ours are ours are late, our Zooms, because when I was doing them early, like nobody was getting on. And so I was like, okay, people. Um, so ours are at nine Eastern. And honestly, we had a whole thing of what we were going to do tonight. And the only thing we're doing is planning for an event an opportunity event for the weekend. And then it will just be talk because sometimes we have a lot of moms that they need that talk. They just want a community and not just me. I want them all to have it together. So a lot of times our team Zooms turn into like family night. I don't know what to call it, but it does. And it's okay. Like, it's okay that it does that. Um, so yeah, that's my story. I'm, I, I'm 40K tonight. I don't know what will be next month, but we're just going to keep going. We don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it. So I love it. I love it so much. And so for those of you who don't know, I did not know Emily prior to the leadership um, retreat that Dana had hosted. And I remember when she was sharing her story, cause you know, like, I don't know if you, if you guys never been to like 
if you went to Danny's Friendsgiving, you know, we sat in the circle and everybody kind of shared their story. We did a very similar thing at Dana's and I loved Emily's story. And I think one of my favorite parts of her story is that Emily comes from money. Her husband's family comes from money. Her family comes from money. So when she says she didn't do this for the money, she really means it. But I think I loved the most was that she wanted something for herself. And I think most of us can be like completely transparent, say that we're doing this business because we wanted something for ourselves. We didn't want to just be moms. We didn't want to just be, you know, somebody's employee. We didn't want to just be one thing. We wanted our own, our own thing. Um, and so I loved that. That was one of my favorite little things. And we just bonded. Like, it was great. It was great. We had to share a bed together and we had never met each other before. And we stayed up all night long talking. Like we, we didn't go to sleep one night till like three o'clock in the morning. We were like, holy crap, what time is and it? And then another night, you guys, there was like an animal in the wall. And I swear to you, I don't even know what happened, but neither one of us got sleep. And I was about to like I, hit the road. I don't do little creatures. And there was it was the time. night before I had to wake up really early to catch my yes. flight. She heard something crawling around. On the floor. You heard it too. She slapped the crap out of me and woke me up out of a dead sleep. Yeah, it's great. Um, but anyway, questions before I stop the recording or um, want to know anything else from Emily while we still have her? I'm kind of watching the chat. I'm keeping the link for this in my notes. So whenever I need a boost. I got you, sis. As soon as it's uploaded, Jennifer, your hand is up, and I don't know if you meant to do that. I don't think she meant to do that. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Well, and it really, somebody said the other night, I was on a Zoom, um, and they said, you know, it will take like one person, it could be anyone that comes in and just changes your business. Um, it will take that one person that comes in and wants to run with you. And next thing you know, you're 40 K. And for me that, that hit this month because these college girls never in my life did I think they'd come in and run with me. Um, but they did. And it's, you will find that person and it might not be this month. It might not be next month, but they will come. And when they come, just be ready to run, be ready to run and be ready to take it all in and be there for your team no matter what, because I know you all have a huge up, like an incredible upline because they've been a huge resource for me. Um, but just wrap your arms around it and run with the people that want, want this as bad as you want it. And I have so many girls on my team still that are like, I can't get anything. Nobody will buy this. And I'm like, girl, they will. I didn't know what I was doing people will buy this if you show the value and I right. still give credit. And the girl that didn't respond to me, she is an 80 K now actually. Um, which is great for her. She wasn't fast enough responder for me, but I tell you, like she showed the value. She showed me the value of that product through a story. Um, so just, yes, it's so true though. It's so true. So I did think of something. So if you, um, so, okay, this month, do you feel like it had a lot to do with you finally letting go of the fact that your direct upline is just not existent? Like mm -hmm. you, because I know that was something that you struggled with. You and I have talked about mm -hmm. that. Um, do you feel like you just finally had to cut the, cut the cord, just let it go? Because I know we have a lot of people within our, you know, our organization that um, they struggle with that too, right? Like they have uplines who, probably don't have a single idea what their volume is this month, or they don't hop on Zooms, or they don't host Zooms, or they don't whatever. Do you feel like you finally just had to sever the ties and be like, this is my business. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what they do in order for you to fully grab the reins and be like, this is it. This is mine. If I want it, I have to go for it. If I want to create, because Courtney tells people this all the time. If you want the community that you crave so badly, create it. If you want the business that you crave so badly, create it. It does not rely on anyone else. So do you feel like that that's what it took for you to finally like jump from 12K to 40K was realizing that, that you didn't need yes. to direct? Absolutely. Because I came into this for the community, right? So I came into this because I wanted that. Like 
I needed that. I wanted that community. And I saw the potential because I had reached out to a lot of side sisters. So I knew what it could be. And I didn't have that. So when I went to leadership, like I had so many people there, but nobody was there directly above me. The closest one was Danny and Danny's like six, seven above me. I mean, she's maybe eight. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and I connect with her a lot. I talk with her a lot, but it's different. You know, when someone's way up there and I feel like I'm like way down here and I don't have that person that I can call and have that best friend. Like I felt like I didn't have that. And so it took me going to leadership to realize that they don't have to be right there beside you for you to know that there are so many side sisters that truly are that person you can call. Um, and you know, you don't realize that you, if anyone here is not going to Palooza, you need to rethink that because being surrounded by these people, you realize it's not a community, it's a family. Like I needed to see that. And then when I realized like it's all or nothing, like, Emily, you can make this community or you can keep crying that you don't have that person up there that cares where you'll be. And that's what I did. I reached out to the size sisters and they are my direct upline. Like they know what my volume is, you know? I mean, that's it. I shared them. Here's where I'm at. Here's where I'm at. Like they knew what my volume was. That's all that matters. And at the end of the day, I'm creating the community that I want. And my, like I said, my direct that's there now. I don't think she realizes I'm going to be 40 K tonight, but that's okay. Because the people that do matter have already made posts because we were manifesting it because, you know, we kind of had a little mix up where everybody thought I hit 40 K and I was like, Whoa, wait, I'm not <laughs> so, taking it down. So, so nobody took it down. We've just kept manifesting that all day. Um, but you, you realize like that community really is there. Um, but you have to let that guard down of just being upset that they're not right there to call and realize there are so many people that are there to call. Um, and it doesn't matter if they can see that, because I'll tell you what, we have that waiting room and that waiting room is great. I've never been given somebody from my waiting room. Never. Because I don't have an upline. Remember like my waiting room, I didn't even know what to do with it. Until like two months ago, I didn't even know what a waiting room was. Like, I didn't even know I had one. And then somebody did a Zoom telling us, and I'm like, wait, maybe we don't want to know about that. Don't tell my group about the waiting room. Um, but you can get wherever you want to be without a waiting room. You don't need somebody to pass it down. And sometimes I think people do think that. Um, some people think like, oh, well, they got there because somebody passed them. Like, okay, well, you'll get there without it. And I'll tell you, it means a hell of a lot more that I'm 40K right now. And my team did that. I didn't need anybody to pass me to get me to 40K. And if I'm still 700 tonight, okay, I'll get it tomorrow. Um, I'm not getting it tomorrow. It's going to happen tonight. But yeah, I'm going to need it to happen tonight. So when my memories pop up next year, it's like it happened yeah, it's, that day. It's actually right. Yeah. <laughs> so Just kidding. It happened the next day. <laughs> no, it's happening tonight. Um, but yeah, you have to just realize that at the end of the day, you're direct. It, yes, it does matter, but it's not going to make or break your business. It's not. Because again, this business can be as big as you want it to be. Um, and I know when I went to leadership, like, I mean, I fell in love with so many people. Like, I mean, how late did we stay up talking? I mean, I knew more about her in two days than I knew about myself by the end of the weekend. I mean, we just truly connected and that's what I wanted so bad. And I have it. And we're not even on the same, like, we're sister teams, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, there's a lot of people out there that don't have a direct, a lot, a lot, but at the end of the day, it's my job to make sure my team has me. So Amen. I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah, um, that's my story. That's my life. It. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> All right. Okay. So if nobody had any questions, we're going to let Emily go. Um, I saw where Krista said, that we need more so we'll have to have emily on more zooms uh katie Woo! is nodding in agreement so we'll definitely <laughs> have to steal you away a couple more times um if you want though because i'm a night owl you can send me your flyer for your team zooms and i might just be a fly on the wall fun because i'm like i'm always up at nine and i'll listen to you guys Us too. 
Well, I tried one night to be in bed at nine. And like I said, <laughs> at the again. next morning, I was like, well, hell with that. I'm never doing that again because <laughs> that's so funny. My team clearly, I should sleep in because my team only works at nine. <laughs> I, that's me. That I is, know. I work so, my yeah. business the most at night. So I sleep during the day. Me. Yep. Yep. And All one right, last well, thing. I will. One last thing. Okay, go ahead. I want everyone to also know that like I don't this is my full time now but you can build this business while working full time like I got to 12k while working full time and there are ways to do it and I know that Thrive Army gives you tons of resources because they sent me some of your resources the other night and I was like where the heck do I even start like there was a way to be how to even organize it I mean it was seriously Courtney's just amazing but you can have a full time business I mean I worked all day long at the university you learn how to um, plan things the day ahead, how to schedule things the day ahead. Um, if you're not on live pigeon, you can do lives and then like you can do lives tonight and let them play tomorrow during the day while you're at work. Use those resources because even now I use those resources because things happen during the day and you don't have to worry about it. You can be yeah. pregnant during the day puking and you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> That's not me. But you can do that and just know like you have figure it out at the beginning while you're building your business because you can work full time and have this as a fun side thing where you can make it full time or you can yeah. have 10 kids because I know she's on here and you want to talk about somebody that's organized. You all know that Tracy is like the queen of organization. I don't even need to say that. Um, but you figure it out, you figure out how to work your business and get to wherever you want to be and you will get there, do it, plan and just do it. So that's my, that's my last part. <laughs> Amen. Sorry. I, my husband's like cooking something and I, it, I don't like the way it smells. Um, oh, no, I don't know what it is, but I'll find out soon. Um, so yeah, so I love that. I, I built a full-time business while working full-time. I made it to 40 K before I finally was just like enough is enough. And I wasn't yep. benefiting in any way from, um, from working at the doctor's office. So, and again, I will reiterate, this is not us telling anyone to quit no. their jobs. We are never, <laughs> no, never, ever. Are we telling you to quit your jobs? Just no. that the opportunity with Lavelle is endless. The possibilities are endless. Shut up, Krista. Um, <laughs> so definitely, obviously make the decision that's best for your family. Um, yes. But there are really, I mean, like I said, the, the opportunities are endless. And so you just do what's best for you. There is a business here. There is um, all the possibilities in the world. So if you're not like head down full force running for these rank advancements, you guys are missing out on something incredible because they end next month. And if you have not been planting seeds the last couple of months, you better start planting seeds tonight, sisters, because um, yeah, you don't want to miss out on this rank advancement. I promise. I don't know when the next one's going to happen, but I have a feeling it'll be a really long time, <laughs> really long time. So don't sleep on these. They are possible. They are so possible. Emily got a, is getting a 40K one tonight. Um, we've got a few others that are on here that have hit rank advancements. Tracy's working on 40K this month. She's like 62% of the way there. Like these rank advancements are 100% possible. And if you have talked yourself out of it, let us be the ones to tell you that you can claim it. You can have it. You just need to show up and you need to put in the work. They are practically handing them away. You just have to show up and grab it. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to post the recording on the YouTube channel and um, go ahead and make my post. Oh, oh, is it now? Is it? That's funny. Everybody that's going to watch the recording is going to be like, is what now? Okay, Justin. Uh, <laughs> Andrew always, said that too. It's always theirs. It's always when I hit 12k, he was like, So when does that come in? And I'm like, Well, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When was the last time you got a customer? <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyway, all right. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Love y'all so much. Thank you so so much, Emily, for spending your hour with us. Well, thank you. I think we kept you for half an hour. Um, and we'll get you again soon. And if you want to share your flyer for your nine o'clock Zoom, I'd love to have it. Um 
and yeah, if y'all aren't running, y'all better start, better lace them up. <laughs> so y'all have a good night. Thank you.